This is a Bernard Talks, two-minute talk, bringing you meaning in two minutes or less. The iPhone is proof of God because the iPhone is what we call a technological advancement, indicating that exists within human beings the ever-increasing desire to advance forward and towards some place, a point. The very fact that the desire itself exists within human beings to arrive at a point raises the question, does there not also exist a correlating point to which human beings are moving forward and toward to? When speaking about meaning, we often use the phrase, what is the point of all this? As if to say that there is some intuitive understanding that we will be traveling from some point A and have an expected end at some point B. If you ask a person why they bought an iPhone or the inventor why they invented an iPhone, the answer will most likely be because I wanted to make my life or the lives of other human beings better which is evidence that their decision-making process was not arbitrary, but rather they had an ideal objective of reaching a state that was better or ultimately best. And human beings must be convinced that this ideal best exists. Otherwise, they would not go out and buy newer and better iPhone versions. The iPhone is proof of God because in a world where there is no ultimate meaning, a person who owns an iPhone standing next to a person who owns a rotary phone can never say my phone is elite while yours is obsolete, but rather can only say my phone is simply different than yours because we both live in a state of existence, which is common neutrality. And so as human beings ask the question, where did I come from? And as they build technology to advance, where am I going? They must ultimately conclude where did I come from and where am I going must exist somewhere. For this full talk and other talks, Visit BernardHankins.com and click on Bernard Talks. Also visit Facebook.com forward slash Bernard Talks.